Thank you, Mr. President, and it is indeed a great pleasure to be here uh, in Cairo on this uh, very special day for uh, European-Egyptian uh, relations. Uh, and for those of us, uh, Greece and Cyprus, who have worked uh, hard towards uh, reaching the point where we elevate our relationship to the level of a comprehensive and strategic partnership, this indeed is a milestone uh, day which recognizes uh, Egypt's uh, profound strategic uh, importance um, uh, regarding the stability and prosperity, not just of the Eastern uh, Mediterranean, but I would argue uh, of Europe uh, as a whole. Uh, and indeed, um, uh, the draft joint declaration that we uh, will sign uh, today uh, lays out the various building blocks uh, for actually implementing our intention. Uh, to make this strategic partnership have the, ne the necessary depth, whether it comes to uh, economic uh, issues or issues of energy, where we recognize the importance that we can play uh, in helping you not just stabilize the economy, but ensure that you can provide the jobs for the young uh, Egyptians by attracting foreign direct investment. Whether uh, this relates to energy or projects such as the uh, Greece, uh, Egypt interconnector can play a critical role in helping you develop uh, uh, renewable energy resources, but also ensuring that these renewable um, resources uh, will uh, uh, reach uh, uh, Europe and uh, in that uh, sense strengthen uh, our energy security. Whether it means uh, thinking about new and more ambitious projects, such as the ability uh, maybe uh, in the future to store CO2 uh, in the geological formations that uh, you have uh, as a result of uh, uh, exploited or depleted uh, gas fields, uh, or whether it comes to cooperating in issues such as uh, uh, migration, where, first of all, we need to recognize um, the uh, tremendous work that Egypt uh, has done uh, in hosting migrants and refugees, uh, from uh, many countries that are faced with uh, severe um, political uh, and economic uh, difficulties. And I think President Sisi uh, is right to point out that if, if Egypt is prosperous and stable, this will help us also stabilize other countries, such as Libya and Sudan, um, uh, whose people uh, are maybe urged to flee a war persecution, but also uh, economic uh, desperation. Uh, and of course, <coughs> As the President of the Commission pointed out, uh, it is incredibly important to make sure that we crack down on those uh, smugglers uh, who prey upon the desperation uh, of innocent uh, people uh, to ensure that no uh, other new routes uh, of illegal migration are open towards Europe, but also uh, to make sure that we offer legal pathways um, uh, to migration uh, for young Egyptians uh, seeking uh, work in the European Union. We have worked uh, very closely with Egypt in terms of our bilateral partnership. We have welcomed over many decades uh, Egyptians uh, who are keen um, to work in Greece, and I think that our partnership can serve as a role model of what we can uh, achieve uh, together uh, as a result of this uh, new comprehensive strategic partnership. Finally, uh, on the uh, issue related to, uh, to Gaza, let me also share uh, our deep concern about the humanitarian uh, situation. Uh, let me reiterate uh, uh, our call for an immediate ceasefire and the release uh, of all uh, the hostages. And let me also uh, very much support what President Al-Siad said, that we cannot accept under any circumstance any forced displacement uh, of uh, Palestinian people uh, into Egypt. And we recognize uh, Egypt's profound uh, security concerns uh, when it comes uh, uh, to this issue. Uh, and I, I would hope that we can work together, the European Union and uh, Egypt, uh, in terms of exploring possibilities of how we can work again towards what is the only realistic, long-term political solution um, uh, to the Palestinian uh, tragedy, and that is, of course, uh, a two-state uh, solution. So again, um, Mr. President, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here, and it's also a great pleasure to be accompanied by um, I, uh, the President of the Commission, my distinguished colleagues uh, at uh, the European Council, and I think the presence of so many of us here today 
uh, its testimony to the particular value we attach to the strategic partnership.